project time. Uh, I've discovered an area that actually has some wood ducks and uh, I decided I'm gonna put up a ground blind to scout it out. Come in here probably tomorrow morning and sit for a good portion of the day and just see uh, what areas they're using, uh, perches that they're sitting on, uh, and just trying to get a feel for it. Pretty much a scouting trip and then we'll uh, set up the ground blind in a better location to um, get better photos. So let's throw this thing up and uh, walk out here in the water and see what we can find out about these wood ducks and we'll check it out tomorrow. So you can pick up a uh, ground blind at any outdoor store. Um, this one's old. Uh, I think it costs maybe a couple hundred bucks but you can find some as cheap as 50 to 60 bucks. Um, let's see. Normally it doesn't take too long, but I threw it together earlier, so this needs to go that way. Pop. That's the ceiling, and then you pull out the sides. Oops. So this is technically like a, a two-man blind. You can get some that are for individuals or even larger groups if you want. You got it? So, when you're sitting in the blind, you can unzip this, and you can see it's been outside in the weather, so it's already wet. But uh, you can put your lens through here, and they can't see in, but you can see out. So, uh, we're going to now just put some lens and stuff around it to make it a little bit more camouflage, kind of help conceal things. So, um, let's slide the blind. Right here. So on this particular blind, um, it actually has you some little strings that are attached. That way you can actually tie natural uh, vegetation onto the blind to help conceal it. So with this one here, just a couple little ties and it just kind of helps, like I said, just helps conceal it uh, a little bit better. I'll probably tie one right here. To help hold it and we're just going to keep doing this uh, until just kind of satisfied the way it looks and whatever looks best uh, you're just trying to conceal yourself uh, from the ducks and wild wood ducks are very very shy they do not like people at all they don't like to get close to you at all so uh, trying to minimize movement by using a blind and we'll be shooting in silent mode and uh, being extremely quiet because these ducks are very bashful. I've tried photographing them before, so let's see what we can come up with. I'm going to leave this blind up for at least a month, so make it to where all I got to do is just drive to the location, walk in the woods, and get right into the blind. This is the front, so it just kind of helps uh, conceal everything. Probably pop that one off because that'll end up being in my shot. Like I was saying, for right now, this is just more used for scouting purposes. Um, once I can figure out where they're swimming to and what perches they're using, then we'll uh, change it up to where we can get closer to eye level. Because you want to be eye level to your uh, subjects. And if I can be eye level, as in in the water with them, I may do that. So I may actually have to exit the blind and camouflage myself and actually be sitting in the water. So now uh, I'm going to throw the waders on and see if I can clean some of this up area up out here in the water and just kind of maybe put some uh, natural um, perches out here for them to entice them to sit uh, right in front of the blind. But we'll just kind of see what we got and uh, let's go throw the waders on. All right, so we got the uh, ground blind set up. I just got into these very hot waders. How do I look? And uh, brought in uh, a seat and a uh, filming tripod. I'm going ahead and put all this in the ground blind. That way, when I come in here tomorrow for the first time to actually sit and wait, the only thing I got to worry about bringing is myself and my camera. So everything else is already going to be in here. Um, and 
all I have to do unzip the door, get in, sit down, connect the camera to the tripod, and just sit and wait. So I'm going to put this in there in just a second along with this, but right now we're going to walk out here and um, see if we can um, maybe put some uh, natural perches right in front of the blind just to entice them. Just maybe they'll come and sit on them. So uh, let's go do that now. Yeah. So pretty much just bringing in some natural stumps for them to sit on right here in the shallow area, which is right in front of the blind. And again, this is more of a scouting trip, so I don't expect them to come and sit on it the first day, but you never know. Uh, if I can potentially make for an even better shot, I will. Um, so we got, I got Tyler over here grabbing some more. There's a beaver dam right here, so he's just pulling a couple uh, stumps off the top of it. And we're gonna set them up right here in hopes that tomorrow or later this week, They'll, uh, they'll actually come and sit right here in front of the blind for me. So. so I got this one log that's pretty much level with the top of the water. I'm just gonna prop some stuff up under because this is a little bit deeper right here. So uh, just gonna prop uh, some sticks up under to make it a little bit more sturdier where they'll feel a little bit more comfortable when they're sitting on it. So just using these uh, old or these freshly cleaned uh, beaver sticks to wedge this stump up. Uh, it's actually working pretty good. Yeah, Tyler's got some good ones coming this way. That looks pretty good. Um, we don't want a whole lot, just something to entice them to sit right on top of it. Uh, and I think that would work pretty good. So pretty much ducks will be swimming along and we'll pop right up here onto these stumps which is about maybe 25 feet from the blind. So that would actually work pretty good. And um, heck, if they start using these quite a bit, I could technically open up the bottom of that blind and photograph from the ground, then I'd never have to get into the water. So that would work. So uh, let's go take a look for what the blind looks like. All right, so while Tyler's kind of Tightening everything up around the line. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. So I got my little stool. This is just for the time being. And then we have the uh, video tripod. And this is what it looks like from in the blind. So uh, once the hopefully, most likely, wood ducks are going to come from this direction, and then uh, they'll swim. Just maybe they'll stop right there for me. Uh, if not, um, we've got some. Uh, little areas that we can watch for sure so really what today is like I said this is more of a scouting trip so not really worried about getting photos the first day out um, they may come in and go past me and hold up further down this little stream here so uh, we may have to move the um, ground blind uh, most likely we're going to be moving it uh, but we may have to move it to a whole different spot um, so tomorrow we'll come in here and set up and just see what happens uh, that's all we can do and uh, we got good potential. Uh, it's exciting to try uh, to photograph wood ducks. If you've ever tried to photograph wood ducks, you know they are very difficult. So uh, any little movement, any sound, and they're gone. So um, so far it looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. And now we wait till tomorrow and see what we get. just got into the blind. It's about 6.30 this morning and I can hear a few wood ducks off to my left. So 
hopefully as the morning uh, wears on they'll start making their way uh, into the woods where we're set up now it's just a waiting game 